So greetings from West Virginia once again. And I am on my way to my campsite at Spruce Knob Lake Campground. Actually, I'm going to be passing the entrance to Spruce Knob, the highest point in West Virginia. I'll be up there later this evening with some friends I just met, actually at Seneca Rocks. But on my way there, I had to stop and show you this back here. This this view is amazing. So let me, let me turn it around. Yeah, so check that out. Just beautiful views up here. It's amazing. All right, yeah, we're right, uh, right up this road a ways is Spruce Knob, but like I said, I'll be up there later today. But we're gonna head to my campsite first, get set up, so that when we're done, when I'm done at Spruce Knob, my campsite will be set up for me because we're hoping to see the, the sunset up there. All right, so we have made it to the campsite. Campsite number 15, I believe. Yep, here at Spruce Knob Lake Campground. Naomi likes it here, she's chilling out there. It's a non-electric site. They do have a nice tent pad area back there, picnic table, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff set up, my tent, things I might, I'm, I'm kinda hungry, so I might make something quick, because I am headed up to Spruce Knob a little bit later tonight. Yes, I'm meeting up with that family that you saw in the in the previous video, I guess at Seneca Rocks. That's where I was supposed to init originally meet up with them. I wasn't supposed to see them at Seneca Rocks. So I'm gonna, like, so I'm gonna get set up here, and then uh, we're gonna hopefully see the sunset up there. There's an observation tower. Of course, Spruce Knob is the highest point in West Virginia. One of the main reasons I'm going there. But there's supposed to be a cool observation tower with like 360 degree views. So that'll be awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna get set up here and uh, so maybe get something, get a little bit of supper cooked up, because it's a 20-minute 20, 20 drive back to Spruce Knob. It's only about five miles, but it's just like dirt roads and stuff. Man, it's beautiful, it's remote. We are in the middle of nowhere here in West Virginia, literally. So it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool too, literally. It's getting kind of chilly up here. All right, so let's, let's quit blabbing and let's get home set up here for the night. Got the new duffel bag to hold up all my tent stuff. Hold it off.
All right, we're gonna get some loaded mashed potatoes going on. These these work great. When I was down, when I was out in Western PA, Western PA, in my second night of camping, which I didn't film, I cooked some of these up. So you just pour eight ounces of water in here. Wait till it's boiling. Add this in. Tastes great. So that's the plan. Loaded mashed potatoes. And then while we're at it, since we got double burners, we'll warm up some water for the coffee too. Gotta have that. This is soon, this one's soon ready. All right, so this stuff is bubbling up, boiling. We'll start adding our, just add it bit by bit. Keep stirring it. Get it all in it. That's what we got in here. Looks like our coffee water is ready too. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit. Get that coffee going. Putting two in. One's just not enough. Learned that last trip. It's a big mug, so. And then the two creamers. Yep. International Delight. What is it? The cold, cold stone creamer. All right, coffee, and mashed potatoes. Yeah, so close in on six o'clock, so I gotta I'd like to be at the knob by seven. Spruce knob. Alright, but we got a little bit of time to relax and eat here. Yeah, so there are our instant mashed potatoes. Yeah, they seem a little bit liquidy right at first. If you let it sit for just a little bit, they firm up a little bit more. So I I put a whole bottle of the eight ounce bottle in there, that seems to work. Get them to fluff up just the right amount. <laughs> it makes a lot too, so, but it's filling. And I, I hardly ate anything today. Just so busy, traveling around, hiking. Man, it was a great day down here. West Virginia is beautiful, folks. Hmm. And loaded baked potato, mashed potatoes, instant. Tastes great. <laughs> All right. And we got our coffee then too. All right. I'm not gonna sit here and eat in front of you. I'm gonna have some privacy. Yeah, so the sun just popped out up there, back above the trees. So sunset at Spruce Knob might be pretty cool. If, there, if the sun does peek out through the clouds and there's still a lot of clouds, that we might get a really beautiful sunset up there. Yeah, I'm still chowing down on my mashed potatoes here, but I just want to show you the sun. I haven't seen the sun all day. Got pretty blessed today, I guess, with the rain. Um, Seneca rocks. It didn't uh, rain the whole way up there. Um, even when I was, up, I was at Black Falls today, that was beautiful. Um, it rained while I was driving some. Oh, and we did the High Point of Maryland, it rained a little bit on the way up. But otherwise, other than that, I was pretty blessed, I would say, with that. So I will probably show you a brief clip of Spruce Knob in this video when we're up there. But I'll, I'm going to make a, another video just for Spruce Knob. I'll probably upload that. After I upload this video, I guess, I'll figure it out when I get home. All right, I just want to show you the sun because haven't seen it all day. Well, that will fill you up. I think the bag says it's like a four servings, so wow. Whew. Yeah, if you're not hungry, you're gonna have trouble getting it all down by yourself. But man, tasty, easy and quick to make, and it fills you up. Good, good camp food item. I'm gonna chill out here for just a little bit longer, enjoy my coffee, and then we're gonna pack all this stuff up. I won't eat it anymore tonight. Or tomorrow morning, I don't think. I'm not sure what I'm doing for breakfast tomorrow yet, but I don't want this stuff setting out while I'm gone, obviously. So 
it's uh after six now like I said I want to get to the spruce knob before seven not sure when my my friends will be there feeling no but yeah we, we kind of had things planned but then you know things don't always go according to plan so that's okay all right I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then we'll uh, get going like I said I'll share a little bit of spruce knob in this video but I'm actually getting kind of excited with the sun like I said with the sun coming out it might be pretty epic up there with a beautiful sunrise we'll see and it's already beautiful out here with the birds singing and everything all right I'm gonna drink the rest of my coffee get cleaned up and then we'll get going and of course then after I get back from the knob you know I'm not sure how much I'll film but I'll probably film a little bit with you in the morning too and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go check out some caves with that with that, with that family my friends um, trout I forget what it's called John Gilday caves or something like that they have go by other names too but we're gonna check those out a little bit so anyway I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then I'll get back with you. All right, so we are cleaned up. Like I said, I'm gonna head on over to Spruce Knob. Probably heading over there a little bit earlier than I need to, but I'm kind of anxious just to, from what I've seen and heard, it's a beautiful place. So I will catch you back. Like I said, I'll probably share just a little bit there, maybe give you a little sneak peek of that video. But other, other than that, I'll catch you back here. It might be kind of dark by the time we get back. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you a bit later. All right, so I promised you a sneak peek. There we go. All right, so you can probably barely see me, but I got my little, Got my little camp light set up here, back at camp. I think it's after nine o'clock now, but man, spruce knob up there was amazing. I, th I showed you one little clip there. I might throw in another little clip of the sunset there too. But yeah, it, it was it was worth it just being up there with some friends and watching the sunset up there. Yeah, beautiful spots. If you get the chance to go up there, plus I left the channel sticker up there too. But you'll see the video after this one. At least that's the way I plan to upload them. But anyway, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I'm gonna get to bed, get changed into some comfy clothes, and uh, sleep the night away. It's just so quiet out here in the middle of, middle of West Virginia. All right, I will. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. And it is blue as rain outside. Not too bad. It's raining a little bit harder earlier. All right. <laughs> All right. So it's about quarter after seven. Slept pretty good in there. Probably would, got up, probably would have gone up a little bit earlier, but it was it was raining. Probably around six o'clock it started raining. Not a heavy rain, but who wants to <laughs> pack up or make breakfast in the rain? So I can't dilly, dilly dally too long. I need to leave about eight thirty. Um, I'm meeting my friends at the uh, at the caves, where they call the John Gilday Caves. I, I might be saying that wrong. So it's be there at 9:30. Might start raining again. All right, so we might pack up and rain a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna at least get some coffee going. Maybe a coffee and pop tarts for breakfast. <coughs> we'll see. I might go for a little walk. Take you guys for a little walk around the campground later. But I'm gonna work on getting packed up here first all right good morning West Virginia <laughs> all right so another piece of equipment that I had gotten a little some time ago earlier this spring was just a smaller version you know of a cook stove that I can use too kind of got it in hopes of you know doing some backpacking sometime too this just kind of unfolds there we go it's kind of Kind of like a jigsaw puzzle sometimes. There we go. And this just screws on top. Make sure it's closed. The valve. And then you just turn the valve on, let some gas out. There you go. Put your a lot of water on. Let's get some coffee going here. Yeah, and it does not take long at all for that to heat up a nice amount of water. Coffee time. 
two. Definitely need two packets for the morning. <laughs> and two creamers. All right, this will be good. And we got the Pop Tarts. <laughs> you know, that little mini little stove thing, whatever you want to call it, works really great. Just an extra little thing to have. I did get it for, uh, I'm hoping to do some backpacking this summer. You want to do some overnights on the trail. And that, you kind of need something like that if you want to have hot coffee on the trail overnight. I mean, I have the other one, the uh, double burner, but. I'm not taking that one on a camping trip. Plus this one works if I'm just gonna make coffee in the morning. I don't really need that full setup. So I'm just trying out different gear. Hoping to do a lot of camping this summer. I'm just testing out different gear, figuring out what works for me and what doesn't, working out the bugs. Even for my last camping trip out in Western PA, I've adjusted a few things. Sometimes it's just with packing and organizing my stuff in the Jeep, you know, getting different, I got, I got a bigger gear bag for the tent because the, the bag the tent comes in is like way too small unless you have like one of those vacuum sealers to like shove it in there. So I just got another like larger duffel bag so I can put the tent in there, extra tarps, different things that I might need for the tent all in one just big bag. So it's just about figuring out what works because in the future, you know, hope to do much longer road trips, you know, to places like California and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of working out what works for me and what doesn't. Yeah, but yeah, this is this is fun. You, you get to you, you kind of understand what, what it's like what it's like to be a nomad, where you just pack up and move every day. You know, you take your took my house down, put it back in the jeep, and then I'll well tonight I'm gonna sleep in my own house, but you know. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. I got the pop tarts out. Maybe we'll eat two packets of pop tarts. <laughs> oh, unfrosted blueberry. The only ones to eat. <laughs> no, the other ones are okay. I like. I'm not. I don't like when they're super sweet. So, I mean, the, the blueberry stuff in the middle is sweet, but the frosting sometimes just like is just too much, especially in the mornings. So I like the unfrosted. All right, well, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee in quiet here. <laughs> All right, so time to say goodbye to our cozy little home for a one night here in West Virginia. I was gonna spend a little more time, maybe go take you guys for a walk, but it's 8:30. I gotta get going. Got the facilities right up there, that was convenient. So yeah, beautiful place here in West Virginia, Spruce Knob Lake Campground. Yes, yeah, so if you do go to check out Spruce Knob, the highest point in West Virginia, and you wanna stay overnight, this campground works. There are free campsites in the area, but those are first come, first serve. That bird is staying up there. It's, it's just beautiful waking up in the morning, all these birds singing, but yeah. Um, free campsites can be great, but I liked I reserve this one. I like to, when I come on a trip like this. I like, I like to know that there's a campsite waiting for me, and that you know, first come first serve, someone might beat you to those campsites. But anyway, to each his own. All right, so I gotta get going. I gotta meet up with my friends about an hour away at those caves, John Gilday Caves, I think they're called, but they have, they go by some other names too. So that'll be it for here. Like it's a beautiful place to camp in West Virginia. So as always, thanks for camping with me last night and this morning and uh, hopefully I'll see you around in the next video. Thanks. And just one last look back where I started this video. This overlook. Absolutely beautiful. Out there's that rain that hit my campsite early this morning. That's beautiful. You can see up the clouds rolling in from up there. Wow. Beautiful West Virginia. Alright. I'll see you guys.